possible signs of trauma. Breathing seems normal. Heart rate should be fast. <laughs> you're awake or I'll have to try my last ditch move emergency skills for junior patrollers lesson one CPR Ugh. Uh, never did it on any living person though <laughs> just yeah sorry sorry you just woke up and here I am chatting up a storm <sighs> are you all right do you feel any discomfort? You can call me Trisha. And she's Yang Yang. <laughs> we are in the Gorgeous Spirits. It's on the outskirts of Jinzhou, Huanglong. Your attire doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar, or someone returning home? So, you don't know why you're here, where you're from, or who you are. Aisha didn't tell us you'd have these after effects when you wake up. The wind has brought us a warning. The Atheric Sea is converging. It seems a new tacit field is taking shape. That means it's probably gonna get dangerous here soon. Ugh, I knew it! Our gourds are out of service because of the Etheric Sea's influence. We can't send or receive messages for help now. We better hurry over to meet up with Baijiu at our gathering spot and get out of here. Guess you really can't recall a thing, but don't worry. If you got any questions, we can talk as we move. Yang Yang and I will give you the full scoop every little detail from the get-go. Rover, uh, can we call you that for now? Before you remember your true name? We shouldn't stay here. If you don't have other plans, how about leaving with us for now? Oh, that's great! Let's go together! I know you can't remember a thing, but there's one thing I'm 90%, no, 100% sure about you. You must be a resonator too. You've got a tacit mark on the back of your hand, and you have a gourd. This is proof you're a resonator. Your gourd's design looks a bit different from the ones we use, though. Also, we have resonators who can detect the formation of tacit fields nearby, like what Yang Yang just did. She can tell all kinds of information by reading the streams in the wind. That's her resonance ability. While I couldn't feel a thing. <laughs> Plus, not many people are gonna hang out in the wilderness these days, unless they're resonators. and quiet here now, but you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my, speak of the devil! Ha! <laughs> 
still remember how to fight despite having forgotten everything? Wow. Watch me lead the charge next time. No one messes with my show for... What's wrong? Are you injured from the fight? You saw our sentinel in your memories? Yes, the one we built this statue for. The Oracle Engine Sentinel in Zhenzhou. There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share some similarities in appearance, there are also differences. The sentinel in Zhenzhou is known as Zhe, manifesting in the form of a long, like the statue you just saw. Sentinels are present where civilizations thrive. Huanglong stands out with the highest number of currently coexisting sentinels because of its long history and vast land. Records state the sentinels in Huanglong were once a single entity. Now they are each responsible for a part of Huanglong. Naturally, there are sentinels in other regions too, but fewer compared to Huanglong. In Huanglong, most of the sentinels take the shape of a long. In other regions, they manifest in various forms. You were standing face to face with our sentinel? One can hardly see our sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the chance during the appointment ceremonies. According to your description, you stood pretty close. Only the sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the magistrate of Zhenzhou. Whoa, darn! That must be an elite class! Chusia might be in danger. Rover, please. a chance to help and
I didn't even get a chance to help, and Yang Yang just rushed over to protect you like a mo- <clears throat> See? There's a resonance beacon over there. When you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe within a five meter ra- When you see a beacon- When you see a beacon- when you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe within a five meter radius of a beacon. It can protect you from danger sometimes. Rover, could you hand me your terminal for a moment? We are almost at the gorgeous entrance. There will be a descent, but if your terminal's glider module still works, it will make the- Once you're out of the gorge, there's only a short walk to reach Jinjo. Jinjo is the safest place around here. The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. <laughs> right? Jinjo sits between the Deseret Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Bai Zhe here. Where is she? This is the center of the Atheric Sea. A tacit field? When did it show up? It wasn't here when we just got here. But I didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence. So it appeared while we weren't looking? Like in the blink of an eye? Or maybe the etheric sea can tell where we are. Could it be following us? The center of the tacit field. Isn't that Baija? Baija! We are too far away. Perhaps she can't hear us. Freshly formed tacit fields of a dormant period. During this time, it is relatively safe. The dormant period of a tacit field varies based on its formation time. Generally, the shorter the formation time, the longer the dormant period. However, with a longer dormant period, the tacit discords born within are usually stronger. The faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. According to the hero plays, yes, there's a chance for that. Right. The glider can't carry us beyond the tacit field's range. Besides, Baija is there. We'll have to go down and see what is going on. Now it's time to use a glider module. Rover, let me help you activate it. it seems. Yeah, she was super energetic, handled a super big TD, way more spirited than me. I've been keeping an eye on her condition through the street. Baija is just concerned about your condition. She must think we shouldn't be letting you move around that much, since you've just regained consciousness.
This isn't the place for talking. Let's go. is here too. It's the tacit discord's ability. Swift and ready. Be careful. Thank 
goodness. We could see that darn barrier, but couldn't lay a finger on it. I'm fine, too. I've never seen such a formidable tacit discord before, but Rover was able to completely defeat it. I didn't really do much. It was all thanks to you, Rover. That's strange. This place isn't known to be so dangerous. Anyway, come check this out! <sighs> Oh, this is an echo. Wow, an echo of the elite class. Someone got lucky today. My apologies. We got a little carried away. Does reverberation or echo ring a bell to you, Rover? Everything in our world is made up of frequencies, and every sound generates a reverberation. Those echoes are the lingering reverberations of tacit discords after they disintegrate. We can absorb them into the data banks in our Pangu terminals. Oh, by Pangu terminal, she means the gourd-shaped device every resonator has, developed by researchers in Huanglong. But you see, it's not always we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when I detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an Overlord class. Rover. Would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover, why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Oh, so it doesn't work. You can start with smaller ones before tackling this guy here. There should be some sweet baby Roche rooms around here. Let's go check those out, shall we? <sighs> we'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the City Hall and the Academy. Let's make our exit. quite like this. You got any other tricks up your sleeve? Like eating a whole tacit discord? Grilling echoes alive? Wasn't it your resonance ability? Rover, are you feeling all right? Any discomfort? Could it be the side effect of fighting that tacit discord? Baiji, can we take Rover to do a checkup at Huashu Academy's Resonance Medical Department? Hmm. Baiji? Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With the 
a human body. I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the Tiankun's boundless power. Assuming mortal form, they condensed the primordial essence, creating Pangu. Cleaving heaven and earth apart, they aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners, Thus began the illustrious annals of Huanglong, as provinces were first demarcated. There was a very strong person way back, like they held the whole universe right in their hands. As there was no terminal in those days, they absorbed the tacit discords with their bare hands. And the TD they absorbed was the most powerful of all. That person turned it into the first echo ever. And they used the power of that echo to rebuild the world, sort out the laws, and that's how the history of Huang Long began. Actually, I'm not. I hope I was, though. Those were just some old tales my parents used to tell me, kind of like the Sentinel's appointment thing. Yang Yang's got an impressive memory for the ancient texts. Me? I just happen to roughly remember what the story's about. Whether it's true or not, that story happened a long time ago, when Jinjo didn't even exist. Could it be that rovers like the great, 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 great granny of us all? Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. message to all of Genjo from the City Hall. My fellow soldiers and citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. I am Jin Shi, the Magistrate of Jinjo. As the Moon Chasing Festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. The festivities are highly anticipated by our people, and I too share in this joyful sentiment. Jingzhou has always been a crucial defense against the tacit discord outbreaks, safeguarding Huang Long. We have a heavy responsibility on our shoulders with no room for retreat or failure. It is the dedication of our warriors, along with the diligence of our citizens, that has allowed us to thrive in peace and prosperity. Despite the challenges of tacit discords, we remain steadfast and hospitable to visitors, upholding our enduring traditions. With that in mind, I have a favor to ask. Among our many visitors, there is one visitor that holds utmost importance to me, the city of Jinzhou, and the entirety of Huang Long. We have awaited your arrival for a long time. Given the circumstances, you may be feeling bewildered at this time. You should have noticed some strange happenings related to you. If you plan to stay in Jinjo for some time, I would be more than delighted to personally meet you in the City Hall of Jinjo. While I cannot guarantee to provide all the answers you need, I will do my best to assist you and provide necessary permissions, if applicable. This is only my personal request. 
You can decide your course of action in any way you see fit. Therefore, I request the people and soldiers of Jinzhou to assist this esteemed visitor when the opportunity arises. Why do I get this feeling? This person our magistrate was talking about is Rover. Wow, so this is the true measure of a chief. I mean, of our Rover. This is the true measure of a chief. It's a famous line from a good old hero play. It's been running for almost four years. It's a really heartwarming tale about the chief and their squad. Does that hero play story sound familiar to you? Hey, that ain't the point, okay? What are your plans now, Rover? I remember you had a flashback of yourself looking into its eyes when you saw the statue of our sentinel. We can't confirm its authenticity, but based on the Magistrate's message, it seems Chen Zhou has a lot to do with your past. Whether you were the visitor our Magistrate mentioned or not, you are surely important to Chen Zhou, and you will be our important... Friend! We've already entrusted our lives to each other. I've never seen so many TDs packed together, and that elite one was so scary. Well, you did get rid of most of them. <laughs> anyway, once we're back in Jinzhou, I'll treat you that famous specialty from Pan Hua's restaurant. It would be best for your well-being to have a thorough physical examination once we arrive in Jinzhou. While there don't seem to be any- I'm gonna get you one you can absorb. I never go back on my promise. Your hero Chisha's on the hunt! One more time. Strike from the shadows! Let me be your blade. Can you reenact what you did before? Hmm, maybe you can only absorb the powerful ones with your body. Or does it have to be a certain type of tacit discord? Or maybe... Maybe we should give your terminal a whirl. Yay! It worked! I've never seen a gourd quite like yours before, but it sure is... Never. Hmm, your terminal's got a different look, but the functions are pretty much the same. Hey, ha! Let the winds roar. Speeding up. Precipitant. Synchronization. Swift and resolute. Huh. Huh. Moment of resonance. Huh. <sighs> Keep it together. An unexpected discovery.
synchronization. Swift and resolute. The end has come. City's just up ahead. Rover? There you are, my dearest seed of fate. All righty, what should we do next? Shall we go grab a bite? I am to return to the Academy. The anomalies of the Gorges of Spirits, the resurgence of that tacit field, and the many wave-worn phenomena occurrences. I should report them in time. Then I'll go submit our report and prepare the documentation needed for Rover's audience with the Magistrate while I'm there. It's the political hub of Jinzhou, and where the Grand Library is located. The City Hall is an important place. Seeking an audience with a magistrate isn't too difficult, but there are still rules to follow. Then I guess I'll take Rover over to the Nexus Tower for registration first, and we'll just hang out for a while. Being new to Jinjo and all, she can't be left standing outside the city hall with nothing to do. Hospitality is our local specialty, you know. Then, I'll leave you in Shizia's care, Rover. Is that all right with you? I'll give you a call once the paperwork is done. Leave it to me. I'll send the branch of Resin Medical Science a notice. We need to conduct a thorough physical examination on you to make sure you are fine. Come visit the Academy after your audience if you have no other plans. Yes. A physical examination would be required to determine if any disease is present. If no medical issues are found, We'll conduct further monitoring and analysis to understand what happened to your body. Of course, we won't do anything without your consent. You guys done yet? What's the hold up? Let's move! Then I'll have more time to show Rover around. We've got loads of fun in Jinjo. We can go watch lion dances, hero plays, stand-up shows, and then maybe the martial championships. Plus tons of different treats to try out. You think it, we have it.
Jinjo's Nexus Tower. Exactly. Let me see. Uh, think of it as Jinjo's largest service station. Or an integration hub. It's something along those lines. I'm not much of a tech person myself. Long story short, it's a navigator, a defense system, and a regional information center all in one enormous package. The smaller ones we ran into earlier are resonance beacons. Data is shared between all beacons. You activate one, and the entire map's data will be relayed to your terminal. Pretty nifty, huh? Just place your terminal here. Arrangements in place. Rover, you can come visit the magistrate at any time. Jusia, do you mind bringing Rover over to the city hall? VIP the Magistrate's expecting. Go see for yourself! Ew! First time seeing such a crowd in front of the City Hall! I was surprised too. I've never seen so many non-staff personnel here before. Most of the people here have applied for an audience, but I heard they've all been turned down. Most people... Most people were advised to leave by the Magistrate's bodyguard upon sending in their applications. The ones staying here are either trying to apply for some other people, or just too stubborn to leave. The few that made it inside said it only took one freezing look from Lady Sanhua, and they were compelled to leave. What kind of description is that? Sounds like they've met some snake-haired lady and got turned into stone. She's the Magistrate's personal bodyguard. Oh, I've heard of her before. She's the all-round Death Glare slash Terminator Ice Beauty. That's what the rumors say, at least. There is a small chance she's not in the City Hall, but it's very unlikely for her not to be in Jinzhou. Or rather, 
It's nearly impossible for the magistrate to leave Jinzhou at all. With her busy schedule, it's already difficult to find any time off. In addition, as the magistrate of Jinzhou, leaving the land under her jurisdiction without authentication is not allowed. Unless she's engaged on a business trip, or when Jinzhou's safety is under threat. Yep, there's gotta be something big if that's the case. So this is the true confidence of our rover. I agree though. So far, you've been ticking all the boxes in our Magistrate's description. Sure it can! Have you thought of something, Rover? You mean... I can't really keep up with your thoughts, but... I think a meeting with a Magistrate wouldn't hurt. Same here. Anywhere a Magistrate's the best lead we have for now, no matter what she has in store for Rover. What do you think, Rover? Are you in a hurry to recover your memories? In that case... How about meeting with a Magistrate first? She may have the answers you're looking for. We're not allowed to go with you. Shizia and I will be right outside the city hall. We'll be waiting for you. That's right! We're not going anywhere. Just give us a shout if anything goes down. Wait, no, we won't be able to hear ya. Plus, they've got this rule about not yelling inside the city hall. What do you mean I'm not the VIP the magistrates expected? Go see for What yourself. do you mean I'm not the VIP the magistrates expected? Follow me. Kindly have a seat. Lady Sanhua will be with you shortly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I apologize for the delay. My name is San Hua, the bodyguard of Madame Magistrate. I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Madame Magistrate advised you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time. Sorry, I cannot disclose her whereabouts at this time. 
Please trust me that she is eagerly looking forward to meeting you in person. Pardon my inability to provide a better answer. Madam Magistrate has a task that she must handle alone, but she has never for one moment forgotten about her meeting with you. Not knowing exactly when you'd arrive, she had to leave without having the chance to welcome you in person. Sorry, I cannot disclose her whereabouts. Pardon my inability not knowing exactly when you'd arrive, because she will require at least three days to complete her current task. Madam Magistrate wanted to assure you that in three days, by any means, she will return to meet you in person. You... I'll be sure to convey your kindness to Madam Magistrate. Please accept my sincerest gratitude. Yes, Madam Magistrate does hope to have your assistance, but there is no rush for a decision. She does not want to pressure you into anything you may not desire. We invite you to learn about our situation before making a final commitment. When it comes to these tokens, it is never her intention to confuse you with the puzzles. Instead, they should serve as clues that lead you toward the truth. Madam Magistrate deeply regrets not having the time to deliver her messages to you in person. We value your presence far more than you might imagine. The same goes for any and all information about you. Since Madam Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you, you are truly exceptional. Regarding that, My eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. You, you share the same frequency with Madame Magistrate. You look undistorted and authentic in your original form. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. They all look different. May I have your terminal for a moment? I need your terminal for access pass authorization. In the meantime, I will configure the latest utility modules for you. Madam Magistrate thought you might need it. The utility module on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now you are now granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinjo. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. You will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo. Yes, including the City Hall. You have full access to its facilities. Also, may I ask, have you decided your place of residence in Jinjo? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you in advance, here in the City Hall. I will lead you to your room if you need. Understood. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime.
So Madam Magistrate's not in the City Hall. Hmm. The wind is rising. In it, I sense disturbance and unrest. The increasing tacit fields, uncannily powerful tacit discords, and now, our Magistrate's absence. Plus, the mysterious rover! I'm afraid. Well, we've reported to the City Hall, the Ministry of War, and the Academy. We've done everything we can. I mean, this is one long, and we're talking about Jinzhou of all places. We've been through our fair share of unrest over the past thousand years, and we've made it together every time. There's been TD outbreaks every year, but we can always trust General Ji Yan, Madam Magistrate, and our Sentinel to have our backs. We're not ones to mess with. United we stand, a bastion of might. One equals a legion, invulnerable in fight. Well said, Jizya. Do you have any plans, Rover? Rover, do you mind if we have a look at the tokens? So, what's so special about them? A candy? Oh, I've had these when I was a kid! I think they were called... Sugar Pearls? But I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Went out of trend, maybe. It reminds me of my childhood. I still remember the taste. It was so sweet. I was really scared of getting my flu shots when I was little. And sometimes, the nurse lady would hand out candies like this as a prize for being good. But what does it mean as a token? Hmm. It seems like... a miniature sundial. It is a horological device that tells time by using sunlight's direction. Sundials in Huanglong usually have marked lines for the 12 shichuns in a day. And every shichun is two hours long, with some showing seasons or months. The design of this sundial looks a bit unusual, though. On this sundial, time seems to be represented by the twelve earthly branches, drawn on the outer ring of its surface. And its inner ring shows the four symbols, each representing one cardinal direction. These are the four famous auspicious beasts in Huang Long's folklore. They are believed to protect people from all four directions under heaven. Generally, the Teal Long represents the East. The White Tiger stands for the West. The Vermilion Bird stands for the South. And finally, we have the Black Tortoise for the North. It seems the sundial is supposed to show both time and direction. But... How could it work when there is not a compass attached? Not to mention, the lack of sunlight basically renders it useless. Ugh, that requires way too much brain power. The color of this leaf seems a bit odd. Can't tell what tree it is. I think I can feel something from it. Hmm. Never mind. It's too faint. Maybe it was just my imagination. Sorry. I can't tell what kind of tree this leaf belongs to either. This is... a mangosteen fruit. Mangosteens are not native to Zhenzhou. They are usually imported by boat. I think we can find more mangosteens being sold at the nearby markets. They're not always available for purchase, though. The frequent tacit discord outbreaks can disrupt transportation and cause shortages. The Midnight Rangers have greatly improved the situation in recent years, but still. So Chizia and I share similar childhood memories of the Sugar Pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjo.
There's still some distance to the Huashu Academy. Let's see who reaches there faster. Yang Yang just installed some apps for you, remember? Just look for the one that's called Utilities on the terminal. See? Just open the util- See? See? Just open the utilities, select the grapple, and there you go. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, you gotta master the grapple. Oh, wait a sec, someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? When did he disappear? Don't worry, it's all right, I'll be right there. Duty calls. Oops, almost forgot. Can't be late. Sorry, Rover, Yang Yang. I've gotta head off for my shift. I'll join you right after I'm done, all right? If you need me, just shout my name. And I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. Well, you only need to send me a terminal message as you shout. Then I'll be there in a jiffy. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Give me a heads up when there's any updates. Sure, go do your thing. Don't worry, I'm staying with him. Rover, let's go inside. to my message. She's probably busy in her lab. Anyway, let's try asking him, shall we? What? You need something? I refuse to tolerate the foolish striving of those insatiable slugs. Since it's difficult for our research to deal with a man like him, I'd rather handle it personally and swiftly. And you are? Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are friends of Baiju, and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Baiju should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Thank you, sir. This is Mortify, a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He was born in the New Federation, and he joined the Washu Academy a few years ago. Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready, too. Any discoveries during your trip to the City Hall? What do you think, Baiju? Hmm. I have a hypothesis about the sugar pearl, but I need to verify it first. If possible, I recommend conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. Data is always straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite studies. Yes, Mortify is the branch of Tacitite Weaponry's head within the Department of Safety. One moment, please. Give me the items to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after that. Take a right, and you'll find me in the testing room. This one looks like the early handiwork of someone I know. It's lightweight, and its design differs from that of the typical sundial and it appears to be missing a part. See, there's a groove here. It will take some time before the results are ready. If you have other matters to take care of, you should go ahead. I'll let you know once we have the results. Shall we wait here at the Academy, Rover? Sure you can, but don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. I have the equipment ready. 
I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Do you have any questions before we begin? Based on the samples collected, the tacit discord you defeated was at least an Overlord class. After defeating it, you seemingly absorbed its frequency energy with your bare hands. Tacit discords are classified according to the concentration levels of their characteristic frequencies. Generally, tacit discords with higher concentration levels are considered to pose greater threats. The current classification levels, from lowest to highest, are Common, Elite, Overlord, and Calamity. Additionally, there is a special type of tacit discord, and we call them the Thrinodians. Do you have any questions before we begin? When a tacit discord is eliminated, its frequency energy may linger in the form of an incorporeal manifestation, which is known as a reverberation. A resonator's terminal collects and records said reverberations, turning them into echoes that can be directed as desired. The combat abilities of these echoes can then be replicated through the terminal's data bank module, enabling resonators to use them in battles. Additionally, some Echo's abilities allow Resonators to briefly transform into their shapes. Yes, to some extent. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Can you try to manifest the Crownless's frequency without using your terminal? Hmm. I am not seeing the Crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless frequency energy was consumed by your body, leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. How do you define monster? For resonators like you, such abnormal fluctuations in frequency typically lead to overclocking. When a resonator's mental capacity is overwhelmed, they may lose control of their forte, causing an overflow of resonance energy. We have established a comprehensive overclock diagnosis process to accurately predict potential risks of overclocking. Your waveform graph shows a remarkable level of stability, surpassing any resonator I've encountered. Your risk of overclocking should be minimal. You don't need to worry about that for the time being. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a creature hiding inside your body. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. Atomy's simulated training ground. Don't worry. Yang Yang and I will assist you. This is the Academy's simulated training ground. Don't worry, Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would. No hesitation. Let me be your blade. Yotan had previously detected, your bodily functions are in good condition, and you seem entirely unaffected by the Crownless's energy. Now, we will temporarily boost your resonance ability for further testing. Let me be your blade. Tempest! Shape the Shapeless! Synchronization. Not the slightest fluctuation in your frequency energy. So it was not your resonance ability either. Hmm. This hard we'll do another round to fully test your potential. Strike from the shadows! 
Let me be your brain. Swift and resolute. We have gathered all the data we need. The test is ending soon. Rover, you can find the exit straight up ahead. Rover, can you hear me? Hello? The comm line is dead. Something's wrong. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? I'm back to the same spot again. And this... moon? What is happening? Are those tacit discords? Rover, do you still remember what you saw? Can you give us some more details? A giant tacit discord with a scythe. It doesn't sound like the crownless. Might be even higher ranked. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training. The Sonoro Sphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of Sonoro Spheres. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated Sonoro Sphere. But we cannot guarantee your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered one such manifestation. I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation, and they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place. I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. I'll also check the simulated sonorosphere again to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, all the data look quite good. But if you feel anything unusual, please come find me anytime. a researcher at the Huashu Academy. Let me witness where this encounter Yotan and I will ensure your safety.
Here's your sundial, intact as it was. Mr. Mortify, can we have the test results? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scan it, and there is a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. Automata mechanics isn't my field of study. I specialize in developing tacitite weapons, but the foundational theories behind these applied technologies are quite similar. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. Well, that's a no-brainer indeed. We can certainly give it a try. If you're fine with the paper scroll being destroyed by its protective mechanism, that is. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Hmm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well, since you've put it that way... Rover, Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling. It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some space to concentrate. Rover, let's come back later, shall we? Yes, of course. I've already noticed all that you mentioned. Indeed, you just pointed out a blind spot in my thinking. Your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet-talking me. I get it. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll drop a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Jiang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a box full of them. Division of labor is more efficient in getting things done. Besides, I would like to avoid stepping foot in Jiang Li's workshop ever again. The mere thought of that place brings me migraines. It's a minefield of clutter and chaos. A murky swamp within the academy walls, as vile and perilous as some primeval forest before the lament. And I see. Shall we go and retrieve the parts now, Rover? prepared myself for the worst, but this place looks much better than Mr. Mortify's description. Though it is a bit hard to figure out where we should start. This should be it. It's quite a box full. Let's go back and show it to Mr. Mortify. Mr. Mortify, we found the parts. 
Good. Bring it to me. The test results are in. The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament, including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena. And the lament was the start of it all. As for the sugar pearl, it has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. A 20 year old vaccine. Hmm, could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Mr. Mortify? The missing pointer has been installed, and now the sundial should be complete. So, the disks are rotatable now? Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. The earthly branches and four symbols. These symbols are related to the sexagenary cycle. It's an intricate way of recording time in Huanglong. Nowadays, it is mainly reserved for calendars, numerology, and indexing. But it's falling out of daily use now. What kind of information could it represent? It's the filing system. Most of Huanglong's libraries and databases still use this method to organize their archives namely the Grand Libraries. Yes, the large data repositories located in Huanglong's major cities. The Academy's public archives are organized in this manner too. Located on the way shelf. Mao Cheng Su. Wu Wei. Grover, it's here! Hmm. There are two photos here. was established during a year of Wei, several cycles ago. 
The Genjo City Hall and Huashu Academy were built in the same year. The gorgeous of spirits battle sparked Genjo's founding. And the formidable tacit discord described here? Hmm. I believe it is the crownless. Rover, about the sugar pearl. What do you think, Rover? Let's look back on what we've gathered so far. Our clues point to the sugar pearl as a key in solving the sundial's puzzle. Simply put, one token can lead to multiple targets, and one target may- We both had a reason for meeting. The magistrate had information to share, while I had questions to ask. However, her tokens contain both what she wants to tell me, and what I want to ask her, making it seem like she is complicating matters. Maybe she was running out of time. That's why she could only offer us scraps of the puzzle, instead of actually putting it together. Or perhaps she's indeed a master strategist, leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. The initial clues may simply be a test to, in other words, there are people who need to be misled, and they may obtain these tokens. It seems there may be hidden dangers lurking in Jinjo. Hmm. If it were you, Yang Yang, what would you do to make sure the recipient gets what you mean? I would emphasize my true message by repeating it again and again. Patrol. How's it going, Rover? Feeling spry as ever? Baiju said he is in great health. No issues to report. We made some progress in investigating the tokens, too. Ah, nothing special. A typical patrol. Well, Uncle Jang's cat climbed a tree, and on its way down, it landed on Uncle Chumpy's head, causing him to take a tumble. Some dogs kept barking and have been scaring the passers-by, so I went there to calm them down. I received a report about someone going missing. I just locked the case and talked to the person who reported it. You're not the one they're searching for, though. Anyhow, I need to visit the person who reported the case tomorrow. Oh, I also tried searching for Rover's terminal number, but the system came up with nothing. The latest record was from today when I took Rover for registration. That's pretty much the update for now. Huh? Are you not going to investigate the tokens? Alright, I still owe you a meal. The night markets are closed, though. Let's grab breakfast at Panhua's restaurant tomorrow before my shift. Meet you guys there in the morning. Be there or be square. Do you have a place to stay, Rover? I... I have a vacant guest room in my house. And if you don't mind coming over... Aren't you forgetting something, Yang Yang? Rover told us this morning that she has been offered to stay at the city hall. All right, enough chatter or the sun's gonna come up. Let's get Rover back to the city hall and we'll leave the rest till tomorrow. Thank you. 